Okay, it's, uh, it's been a nice run. Uh, I moved from basketball uh, after 20 years to football, and um, I've had a good 10-year run. I've got Coach Bearer uh, and Coach Statham, two of my uh, coaches that were with me when we were in the section. They're back. They're teachers here on campus, and they're back coaching the offense. So uh, we think we're going to probably continue to score. You know, we want to average 35 to 40 points a game. <laughs> Sounds like a lot, but um, yeah. sometimes it takes that many for us to win. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're in a nice place. We've got uh, over 60 players out for uh, both the freshman and the varsity team and over 40 for our sophomore. So it's 160 kids in the program. Uh, they've committed themselves this summer. We get good commitment from the players, lifting weights, running, uh, going through a conditioning program we call Billy White. Um, so we're happy with the commitment that they're making. What did you lose last year? What do you have coming back this year? <laughs> Uh, well, we lost. We graduated 41 players, so we lost a lot. We lost um, every linebacker that ever made a tackle in a game has graduated, <laughs> all five of them, for the last two years, as a matter of fact. Um, we lost Mitch Sampson, our record holder. Uh, we lost both of his uh, number one receivers, so Tyler Young and Frankie Paolano. So um, we're in a rebuilding mode, uh, but the good news is uh, we have people that fit right in, we, we feel. We have um, a quarterback that may, uh, over the course of the next two years, break some of Mitch's records. Uh, Peyton Wilfley, uh, younger brother of Houston and Harrison, uh, we think is going to um, be one of the premier quarterbacks in the area. Uh, the receivers might not be anyone individually uh, as good as um, uh, Tyler Young or Frankie, but we think as a, as a group, as four of them, they all have to be covered. Uh, and we probably have our best uh, returning running back. Uh, Cody Jones last year rushed for almost 1,700 yards, and we've actually never had a junior do that. So um, we're looking forward to see what we can do. Yeah, I, I thought it was odd when I saw that stat. I mean, when I think Cass, I think throwing the ball 50 times. I mean, would you, I think you averaged about 50 points last year or yeah. darn close to it. And when I saw that you had a, a rusher that rushed for that much, how, how did that happen? Well, <laughs> I don't want to give away any secrets, but, but at the end of the game, we want to be 50-50 run pass. And I think that's uh, one of the reasons why we've been successful in the spread is many people consider the spread to be a, a purely passing offense, but we want to rush the ball and it spreads people out. And Cody is a, a dynamic runner. Uh, he's put on some weight to get a little bit stronger this year, but we expect him to be an over 2,000 yard rusher. Mm. You go back to our section championship game, Matt Satchwell was. Mm -hmm. um, we actually ran um, a little more, 55 and 45, to throwing the ball. So we want to, like I say, be 50 50 between run and pass. Uh, we've got a senior line. They didn't play a lot last year, um, but there's going to be uh, five of them across the, or the seniors, and we're thinking that's going to uh, allow us both, to both run and pass. Um, I know it's early. I, I doubt you know much about Fruitland. Do you know anything about them? I know nothing. I've got a couple <laughs> coaches that are um, on YouTube and uh, <laughs> looking up stuff, and uh, we're trying to find stuff on Huddle, and I'm sure the coach and I will eventually make contact and share yes, some sir. tape or something. Uh, but I know they have a couple of really good football players being recruited maybe already going to Boise State. Yep. Uh, I've talked to Joy Montoya. I know they're uh, – they're a form of a wing T team, so Joy from Placer has talked to mm -hmm. me a little bit about them. But of course, the wing, those wing T guys don't give anything away, so right. it wasn't like right. a little brotherhood anything. there. So uh, <laughs> we're looking forward to playing, and once again, somebody we don't really know, yeah. uh, and we think that works both ways. They don't know a lot about us, and um, um, and. We'll see how the game goes. Yeah, it's just fun to play an opponent. You don't even know what their uniforms look like, and out of state, it's got to be fun for your kids. Right. It, it will be. It will be good. And uh, once again, it's a Saturday morning, part of this at Oak Ridge, part of this uh, Sacto Smackdown. Yeah, Smackdown. So, yeah. so that'll be fun.